If you would like to add some coding robotics to your uh, creativity, curiosity, innovation makerspace, I like the Microbit. It's a nice inexpensive microcontroller. Get you started with some things. It's $17 for this baby with a USB cord and a uh, double a, uh, triple a two triple a battery power pack there's the back look of it it's got some sensors already built into it that's what's nice about it and it's got two buttons uh, five by five array of some LEDs you can fill some things and some pins you can attach three things to that's why I said you're gonna get started with it because you can only attach three things to it um, Things you might want to attach to it would be some buttons. I like the arcade buttons because they're big and easy to work with. You would also want to attach a speaker possibly because you uh, you can code sound. I use Make Code, browser based, uh, works on any device and it's blocks. But you can also switch over to Java. You can also code it with MicroPython, uh, which is a version of Python. Um, if you don't have any little speakers, I just this is just a speaker that was actually torn out of uh, some other bigger hardware, uh, but I got you know several of them um, for like a dollar, two dollars kind of thing. Um, you can buy these nice little expandable accordion kind of powered speakers. They're going to be louder, so it depends on what you want. Not loud, kids can hear it, or in their group, or loud that it can be heard. Um, you would also want to deal with some LEDs, uh, NeoPixels, LED rings. Uh, you get strips of LEDs. Uh, you can this thing can power run like a, a strip of fifty um, LEDs. I've the, I've done up to, um, and then you just need you need some alligator clips to attach it to some of the pins. Uh, you could also nope not yet. So those are some of the things you attach. Now, if you want to do more than three things, because it only, it's got only three inputs, these two are power. There are all these other pins, but you need extension boards to get at those other pins. And there's a whole slew of extension boards. So again, we're still talking with Microbit. The other reason for the extension boards, besides plugging in more than three things, um, servos. Servos are awesome to, you know, making things move, but they, some only require three volts, and the micro bit only does three volts, but most require five volts, and that's what the extension boards are going to get you. Also, if you want to do motors and wheels, you need a motor driver, and some extension boards have motor drivers in them. So, let's talk about it. Let's look at some extension boards. Um... In no particular order, this is the maker bit. The micro bit plugs in here. These are motor drivers. That's a broken board. Um, power goes goes in here. All the pins that you might want access to are here. It will power uh, with higher than three volts, up to nine, I think. This will take. I can't remember. There are different. Some are only five. Some are like six to nine, so you have to peek at them. This also has some Grove ports to it, which are an easier way to plug things in because um, it's a one cable that's got four wires in it and just easily plugs in there. Um, so that's that one. There is the Cricut by Adafruit. What you get, it's getting at all the pins. This is saying, where th this one has it set out to say where to plug things in. Plug the NeoPixels in here. Plug a speaker in here. Plug motors in here. Um, where some, well, like the maker bit, you could plug them in to any of the pins. This stuff was set up just to do uh, strips of LED, strips of actual LEDs and a uh, inputs. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. We got more. Oh, yeah, we got more. Um, Elect Freaks has their motor bit. Uh, 
input power here, access to pins. These would be three volts, these would be five volts. Motor drivers. Plug the micro bit in there. Now, if you don't need the motor drivers, they've also got this little baby that gives you access to all the pins, powers through the micro bit, and gives you some extra uh, port ideas too. But it does have a little power control in the circuit that you can switch uh, to five volts, so these pins would end up being five volts for like for servos. Just no motor drivers in it. There is, I mean, there's a whole bunch of these. This is Kittenbot. Plugs the micro bit in there. It's got its own little built-in speaker. Got an on-off switch. Still has those three pins that you want to, you know, plug into if you want to do it that way. But here's all the pins. And then here's five volts. This is also a MP3 jack output. If you don't want to use this, you want to use an actual speaker or headphone, plug in there. This one only wants five volts. And that led me to figuring out how I get just five volts with a USB until I finally figured out, yeah, it's just a battery pack for a uh, phone recharger. So lots of different power considerations and, for and formulas and plugs and ports that you have to you know look at and pay attention to. And the other extension board I have is the Bit Booster by Electrify. So it's got um, it's got some NeoPixels already on it. Um, it's got motor, servo. Kind of tells you where to plug things in. Um, some Grove ports for a couple different connectors. And it's got a battery pack on it, so you just put three batteries on it. Electrify also came up with a baby one called Bit Buddy, which you power with a little coin cell. Uh, but again, it's got a you know, MP3 jack and really to do motors. You can still get all get it the pins. That's what those things are. That these are for. You know, if you want to do something different than what they've got there. There's access to the pins with like a alligator clips or banana jacks, or these are also Lego compatible. So you can attach them to um, Legos. So that's Lect Freaks. And there's another one, but it, it is its own kit. You don't just buy the uh, extension board. And this is Hummingbird by Bird Brain Robotics. You buy a kit that has some servos, some lights, um, and power pack with it, and the power is there. And here's where you would plug servos in. It tells you exactly where to plug in, and LEDs, tricolor LEDs, and some sensors. So that's a way to get started with some um, robotics, some coding. There is another one called Circuit Playground Express by Adafruit. That's actually the Circle Playground Express with a Cricut add-on board. That's just the Circle Playground Express itself. And it's kind of like the Microbit. It's $25. It's got LEDs already built in. It's got some sensors. It's got a little speaker on it. And it's got a couple of pins that you can attach to. Some of the pins are ground. Some of the pins are um, power. And some of the pins are actually input-output pins. And then they've made a cricket for it, just like the microbit. Hey, let's plug NeoPixels in here. Let's plug motors in here. Not that I couldn't plug NeoPixels in here. I could do that. So that's a Circle Playground Express. Another way to get you going. It's a nice device. Um, a lot of people like, and I think it's a good device too, called Makey Makey, if they're just trying to start to get into physical computing. This is the Makey Makey. And really with the, the Makey Makey, you have to have it attached to a computer because all it is doing is taking a key input on the computer, on the keyboard, and putting it out into the world. So this one, for example, if I wired it to here, that would be the space bar. So in the code, which is usually using Scratch, 
I would put, hey, when you click the space bar, do something. Now, when I attach this, I create a, sw a switch outside or push button outside of the keyboard, outside of the computer, and that becomes um, the space bar kind of thing. Um, so makey, makey. And then finally up in the same realm as the makey, 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 makey is about $50. Um, the other thing I like at that price point is Edison. A uh, little robot, it's got some sensors built into it. It's got motors and wheels built into it. You know, line follower. It's got a speaker built in, um, Lego Lego compatible, and you can code it with icons, blocks, or Python, all browser based. So any device would do it. So there's some ways to get going with uh, coding and robotics.